Okay, there goes nothing. Today it's the day that I will be a deity. Nope. Am I getting married? Nope. I'm changing sex? Hmm. Nope. Today I'm putting that freaking Hayabusa engine in the car. Nah, not actually. I will install it first in the subframe outside the car. Why? Well, I still have some fab to do and a couple of things to figure it out, like making the front support, installing the sway bar and many more. And it's way easier working at the right height than inside that crab de nez, which is crammed and jammed and yeah. But I diverge here. Yes, before putting the engine inside the subframe, I still have to fabricate the main shaft and the flange bushing. I need to machine a flange on the main shaft to connect the CV axles. Something like that, but in a very small scale. And you want it to be as precise as possible. So the best way to do it is to weld the flange first on the main shaft, then chuck it in the lathe and machine everything at once. Unfortunately, my lathe has a bore of one and three eighths and my main shaft is one and a half inch. So it just won't fit. So the plan here is to machine first the flange and press fit it super tight on the shaft and hoping to get everything square and precise so you won't get any so you won't get an unbalanced shaft because this thing's gonna rip but let's see if it works
Um, stupid me forgot that there's a recess here. Yep, I went a bit too far and now it's flush here. <sighs> Luckily, this will fit here. Save it. Ah! And I didn't save it. Ah! Come on. Focus. Thank you. Yep, I wasn't able to remove the broken tap, so I bored the bushing and I will now plug it. I will weld it, cut it perfectly flush, and make it look pretty again. <sighs> And then it's gonna be tappy tap tap again. Hopefully it won't break this time. Ah, come on, give me back my glove. Yay, I think I saved this one. It's not perfect, but I think it will do the trick. Yay, I'm done with these parts. Really happy how they turned out. That's my main shaft. It's a big boy. And I've got the bushing here. It goes this one, this one, yeah. It goes like this. Both CV axles will connect here. And one thing that I did, ah, come on, ah, it's super tight. Ah, come on. Okay. So I've got two bolts here. They are tapped here. I've got about an eighth of an inch of gap. So what I did, I didn't weld all the way all around bushing part. Make sure that this section can be clamped on the main shaft. The only thing left to do is to put the uh, the keyway in. I've got. I'm gonna have two keyways 90 degrees apart, and this thing's gonna be completed. <laughs> Woo! I'm happy. That's it. New part. Yay, look of what I've just received. This is my men's sprocket. Super heavy duty iron steel thing. An inch and a half bore with 60 teeth. Teeth, tits, teeth, whatever. And this little guy, this is gonna be my gear for the reverse. Yoohoo! This is laser cut it. It's gonna be mounted on the main sprocket, like so. But it needs to be super close to the sprocket because I don't have much room in the car. It's got a pattern right here of holes that are quite precise. And I added this temporary hole in the middle. So using the main shaft, I will align those two guys together. And then I will use these pre-drilled holes to position the tap hole in the sprocket. After that, 
I will have to manufacture some spacers and then I will be able to cut off the tabs and I'm gonna have a pretty nice looking sprocket gear. All right, let's build it. This is a real test though. There's no trick involved here. There's no, oh, I did it once and let's see how it fits. Is it, is it going in? It's a bit tight. Yeah. Thank you. I may be out by a thousand or two, but I think it's gonna be good. Ooh, this thing is heavy. This is my lawnmower batteries. Maybe it's not powerful enough, but okay, here goes nothing. It's time to put this in this using yeah using this Okay, first small little issue, which was uh, predictable. I didn't know if I wanted to have the exhaust on top of the main shaft or at the bottom. Uh, so I will extend the headers at the front and have the exhaust passing below the main shaft. After that, I will build a 90 degree, uh, big elbow 90 degree here and have the muffler installed right here. This is looking good though. <laughs> Second small issue. This slot is supposed to be aligned with the sprocket of the engine and it's not. The plan is to make a big hole right here, remove everything inside here and then I will have a secondary plate with the bearing right here because I will make an extension shaft. A new sprocket will be here that will go down with a chain around the bigger sprocket. Then I will make a big chain guard. And also one thing that I will have to build is front supports 
that will come from uh, these two tapped hole i will have a post going down on the on the subframe so these will be the uh, uh, the front support and at the top it's going to be mounted on a pivot point with the sluts right here i will be able to adjust the tension on the chain so with a pivot point here and some sluts right here adjustable sluts that's going to be fairly easy to move up and down the engine it's, it's there it's it it's in it's the reverse works yes the engine is installed i'm very happy the way everything fits so far okay about my videos i think i've got a good pace here i will post every two weeks and i'm trying to keep my uh, videos around 15 minutes sometimes just a smidge more but for now that's gonna be it guys so if you like what you're seeing, you heard that a trillion times. See you on the next one, which is in two weeks. If you didn't understand, that's every two weeks, there's going to be a new one. And by the end of this summer, I should have a freaking six speed racy-ish smart.